the coronary field has moved towards percutaneous greatly rather than, uh, than cabbage, than bypass surgery. The problem of carotid revascularization uh, has been uh, this issue of uh, not only increasing the, uh, the safety of the procedure, but also the, the, the safety of the post-procedural period. And uh, this is where, uh, where uh, mesh coverage stands, and Seaguard in particular come. Uh, they address this problem because uh, the stent frame is covered with a, with a fine mesh with very small openings. And uh, uh, we know uh, that uh, uh, the uh, embolization, embolization during the procedure is minimized and the post procedural embolization is, is nearly eliminated, is practically eliminated uh, using this technology. So this technology is a game changer. I remember when I was presenting carnet data at one of the large meetings, somebody stood up and said, you know, I like what you show, but I don't like 0%. And I said, you know, that this is what it is. This has been validated by independent neurologists. Uh, this has been validated with brain imaging. Uh, I can't say I'm sorry uh, about this because we're actually very happy that's what it is. But then people take the device in their hands and they, 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 they start doing procedures uh, and they realize that this is something unique uh, that they got in their hand. It's, it's a totally new, 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 new tool. Uh, Seaguard has some unique properties because it's, uh, the frame of the stand is uh, extremely open, so it's as, as open as it can get, uh, which uh, results in uh, conforming the anatomy, so you don't change the anatomy of the internal carotid artery, you don't change the anatomy of the bifurcation. And uh, because of the micronet sitting outside the stand frame, it's it's the closest, uh, uh, so the closest cell uh, device at the moment, which means that this uh, translates into unique protection that you get during the procedure by preventing embolization and also after the procedure. So the, the whole field uh, is being transformed now. And like I say, when you talk to surgeons, they say, yes, you know, evendovascular only with, uh, with, 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 with Sigurd. Uh, this is what my surgical colleagues uh, say. If you ask the patient, patient like to have endovascular procedure rather than open, uh, uh, open surgery, rather than cut. Uh, the recovery is quicker, uh, the discharge uh, can happen sooner, and uh, you know that your patient is safe in the post-operative period. Uh, that's also the data from the multi-center, multi-specialty, 200 patient uh, Italian study recently, the so-called Iron Guard study. Um, and definitely uh, this allows you to discharge the patient earlier, which, which, uh, which, which results in savings uh, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the system. So uh, this is what I uh, say um, in one sentence. It's the most open of the open cell frames and because of the, of the, of the of nitinal frame, and it's the most close of the closed cell designs because of the micronet with so small cells. The smaller the cell, uh, the, the, the higher uh, uh, your power to prevent against embolization. Um, so I think, you know, it's, it's, it is a, it is a, it's a unique product. It's a product that is today unmatched. You know, the facts are recommending Seaguard. I don't have to recommend Seaguard because if you look at the data, it's the data that recommends Seaguard. So there's always a personal opinion, a personal preference, but I think it's very important to, because you know, people can tell you different things. I talked to you today, uh, you're nice, uh, so let me say, you know, because I want to be nice to you, I recommend Seaguard. Uh, but uh, uh, I think what is far more powerful is the data. You go to PubMed, uh, you look at the data, and it's the evidence that recommends uh, Seaguard.